You see, to allow for free will, Hashem puts certain blockages in the human mind, certain realities that I could know intellectually, but I don't really feel them. One of those realities that I could know but not feel is the fact that I'm going to die. I could speak about it, I could discuss it, I could go to a funeral, but that reality that I will be there one day in that box never really comes to my mind. And so, in the concept of tshuva, isn't that relevant? Oh yes, it's true that there's great reward for mitzvahs, great punishments for things I do wrong, but it doesn't matter because I have no intention of dying. It's just not going to happen. And it's an amazing reality that no matter who you are, no matter what age you're at, no one thinks they're going to die. The Chavetz Chaim describes it. He says people feel there's a society of people who die. Unfortunate people, sick people, older people, but I'm not a member of that society. And this reality that I will leave this earth at some point is one of the most significant realities that I have to get clear in my mind. If a person understands life, it's not a depressing thought, it's a galvanizing thought. And thinking about this reality, thinking about the fact that I will leave this earth, there will come a time when the curtain comes down, game over, and I will be what I created myself into, is one of the most critical, important concepts for a person to grow. The reason why it's the first thing a person needs to work on is because it's one of the greatest obstacles to tshuva because only when this reality becomes something I can touch, I can feel, am I motivated to really change, grow because I understand that who I'll be is what I shape myself into.